about your album Wildfire, and I was listening to it the other day, and it was just so motivational. Like I was like running on the treadmill trying to get a good workout, in, <laughs> but it was just motivational. And I was just wondering, how much like do you think it reflects on what you've learned throughout your years? Like, what do you think the album really portrays? You guys are so cute. First of all, <laughs> all <that questions>. um, <laughs> yes, I, it, they're all very personal. Like the songs yeah. are journal entries. Mm -hmm. I told a story on stage about a song called Congratulations that I wrote after a fight with a friend. I wrote the song Superman for my husband about um, being there for him when he was sad and, and letting him know that he didn't have to be so strong all the time when I got him. And Stand By You was personal and, and you know they're all, Angels and Chelsea was about my time in New York City living there and how sometimes even when it was really hard and people would push on the subway, you'd have these moments, whether it was like after a yoga class or when you just, I don't know, for some reason everything was clicking and you felt happy where you look around and it just looks like everyone's an angel, you know, even the, even the people that aren't maybe so angelic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but the songs are really personal and they do give a glimpse into who I am in my life, yeah. You are becoming a really inspirational person and you're becoming super well known, so what's like a misconception about fame? That's a great question. Um, misconception about fame, it's really hard. You know, I don't know if people talk about that, but you I personally feel like I want to give so much to everyone and like I want to give as much as they want me to give to them, but you can't. You just can't because you burn out and you break down and that's a really hard thing to learn how to say no and how to create boundaries um, and and know that you're not like even if you're disappointing someone, it's coming from a place of love and it's because you're protecting yourself. So it's, it's a hard thing to learn as a people pleaser and someone that wants to like make everybody happy and give them everything they want, but it's been an important lesson. And like we saw you today on stage and you just had so much energy and we're sitting here like, I kept on saying, oh my God, she's like going so strong. Yeah. She's so tired. I was so like, yes. Nice like... to watch you just like in your element. It was just such a great concert. Thank you so much. I love being on stage so yeah. much. I don't feel like it's work. You know, it, it doesn't feel hard. Yeah, I don't get tired. Like I could have gone for another hour. Although when I was bouncing up and down, I was like, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my breath. <laughs> if yeah. you could collaborate with anyone, who would it be? If I could collaborate in, with anyone, um, oh man, you know, I really love Mark Ronson's production so much. He did Amy Winehouse's album and Lily Allen, and recently he worked with Bruno Mars, so I'd love to work with him.